RPG. 그대로의 RPG. 불멸의 전사 2. Top top level. Everybody says he's the top Terran. And we can see here, TY is such a veteran of Korean StarCraft, playing over 200 games in Pro League. But as I mentioned before, his record 7 and 6, not really the record that's indicative of how good of a player he is. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I definitely agree with you there. He's got some high star quality too, I suppose. Um, Deer is overall ahead of him. It looks like these guys may have played a best of five series, perhaps, where Deer has knocked him out. Yep. And I'm actually curious to see what the predictions will be. Yeah, I really want to see this. How many people voted for Deer? Two. Okay. Dayhyun and Kanata. Dayhyun and Kanata. It feels like Kanata wants to go against the grain today. <laughs> Kanata wants to go against the grain. And also, Dayhyun was the only person that was right about Super in that ace match against Gumio. So yeah. this really could go any way. Deer versus TY, the highlight match of the night. Let's get in here. Down here in the bottom left, the blue Protoss from Samsung Galaxy Con. It is Deer. And spawning here at the bottom right, for KT Rollstars, the Red Terran. It is TY. Thank you for TY. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was watching on some stream there. I it think looks that's like a Chinese that's, stream. Yep, that's you're you're right. We've had a lot of Chinese fans actually the past couple of weeks. Not sure exactly why. Um, well, we always, have, we always have Chinese tourists come here to Korea. Oh, so. for sure. I mean, the, the Chinese population in Korea is actually the highest foreign population in this country. So yeah. it does make a lot of sense. But it seems like specifically recently, um, there's a lot of StarCraft II fans coming down, visiting the studio, getting hyped. I like that they're making the signs. Yeah, I love signs. I love translating when they're in Korean as best as I can. I'm Maybe next year we'll uh, study some Chinese yeah. so we can begin to translate uh, these signs that, That'll well. be the last thing I'll learn, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe some kanji. I can learn some Japanese. Mm. I wouldn't mind learning some Japanese. Yeah, I mean, at least you would know the characters yeah. or know some of them And it'll least. be like, okay, that probably means like wind or fire or whatever. Mm. Well, Frost, a very big map. We didn't get to see this in the last series. Um, and it's going to be a PVT again. We've been seeing a lot of PVTs. We saw, I think, three in the first series. It feels like uh, Frost is the m only map in the map pool where we don't really see too many mirrors. Like, as far as I know, we've seen yeah. maybe like one Zerg versus Zerg and a couple of Terran versus Terrans, but that's about it. I Mostly right. been Terran versus Zergs and uh, Protoss versus Terrans. So, yeah. good to see the, uh, I guess it's a testament of how balanced Frost is as a map. Yeah, it really is. I definitely agree with you there. Um, Zergs, uh, we saw Ragnarok have some some success on this map. I forget exactly who he took out, but uh, he was looking pretty I good on this one. I think he took out Cure? I'm not too sure. Yeah, maybe it was Cure. I, I think it was a Terran for sure. Yeah, it was a Terran. I remember he had like a hidden base. Oh, and he I harassed think. with the, yeah. the Ultralis. Oh, maybe it was Innovate. No, Dream, Dream. It was Dream. Yeah, yeah. yeah there you go. Okay, we solved we solved the puzzle. Yeah, we solved there the mystery, go. guys. <laughs> Don't have to hit the panic button. As uh, the Nexus of Deer is actually finally up. It's got that mothership core. It looks like it's gonna do some scouting with it. it doesn't want to do a probe scout. And uh, we saw this uh, build here from Ty, getting that reacted factory for those Hellions, and try and take advantage of a small window of timing where you can do some damage before any gateway units come out that yeah. can deal with it. And think about this map. You're not going to be walling the top, right? Well, this White person tea. is cheering for YouTube. Not yeah, sure YouTube. why. <laughs> um, you're not going to be walling the top of the ramp here as Protoss. Yeah. So there's a very wide choke at the natural. Very easy to get your Hellions in, as, especially if the Mothership Core is out of position. Yeah. This is going to be scouted, I believe. No. Maybe not. They're just very close. Yeah, but uh, there's no way that the two Hellions uh, will die to these two Adepts. Uh, it will happen eventually. It'll just take a while. Let's go, TY. KT Rolster. That's a cool Marine. That was a good drawing. Yeah. I give that like a, a 7.5 out of 10. Here awesome. come the Hellions. One gets focused down immediately as the Mothership Core just gets back 
just in time. But his Reaper's done so much damage here. <laughs> the Depth has uh, been knocked back by the mine. And Lots of weak that? probes six, going six, down. Yeah, six probes are gone. That's a really nice move here from TY. Yeah, nice bit of harass. And he's just going to loop around and try and take out more probes here. Actually, no, he's just going to knock that probe back. <laughs> yeah, knocks one probe. <laughs> Delays yeah. that one probe's mining. Early robotics bay as well, so uh, we mm. might see disruptors. We may see Colossus. I'm not too sure, honestly, because I really don't like Disruptor in Protoss versus Terran as a Protoss. Yeah, because, nowadays it's like, uh, oh man. Terrans are so good at splitting, especially at this level. And you're playing against a player like TY, who has probably the second best control behind Maru. Yeah, I, I would agree. I, it's like, we see a lot of Disruptor drops too. Like, he already has this Warp Prism out. You get the Warp Prism speed and Disruptors, and you try to get some damage. Sometimes it gets like six, seven SCVs, and then they respond to it. They make turrets. That is what he, get, what he is going to go for, but then eventually that gets shut down, and then you're kind of stuck in this, this Disruptor tech, and it's mm. so expensive to go into it. Is, yeah. it, is it really worth it to get like six or seven Marines against a Terran who's got three Orbitals for a really long time? Like, I'm, I'm not so sure, but he is going to go for it regardless. Yeah. It, it, Disruptors aren't really a unit that you would consider a core of your army composition. They're there to help assist and do splash damage, but we saw actually in the Code A, Stork versus Innovation, where Stork went for Colossus instead of the other options that were available for him, because uh, Stork isn't as mechanically sound as the other Protoss plays out there, so Colossus is still a viable unit, but I guess in this case, Gears just going to go for the Disruptors and use them like Reavers in Brood War. Yeah, he's only got one in here, not going to overcommit. And it seems like this is purely for Harass, as he's already transitioning into getting extra gateways once the blank. Here we go, it's not going to go down, and he oh, gets seven gets kills! Off. Oh wow. boy! That Disruptor barely gets out with the War Prison picking it up. I thought he might have tried to go for the Marines, but I guess he's not... He doesn't think... He thinks TY is that good of a player that he's not going to lose those Marines to a Disrupt Shop. It looks like this Disrupt is going to come back, but the Widow might... Ooh, oh, the oh. hack's there. Oh, he spots it. Oh, he has an oh, Observer over there. <laughs> I'm like, how does he see that as he's flying by? But, way. but the Vikings are there. I wonder if he'll use a scan on uh try and spot that Observer out. But uh, Deer's actually going to take his third base. And uh, here comes the Disruptor again. It's going to try and... Oh. Okay, Mr. here we go. Disruptor. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, there one Marine. Just one Marine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I thought he might try to warp in there, but he's going to concede the Watchtower to TY. TY's got his third base running actually quite comfortably right now. Yeah. The thing about this kind of play is that it's it's... It's kind of risky, but it's high risk, high reward, yeah, right? If you can get sure. like three, four hits onto Marines or SCVs or anything, really, everything's going to blow up. You're just going to get so much, so far ahead of the other players. Yeah. So I understand why players do go for it. As much as these players are really good at StarCraft, they are still human and they can have mm -hmm. lapses in concentration. And Deer's just looking for that window of uh, the lack in co concentration to uh, hit the army as a. Uh, Something to note, there is no gas taken at the main base of TY. I'm not sure if that was, that's a mistake or on purpose. I'll just have to wait and see when he takes it. <laughs> oh, blink after these Marines as they overstim almost to just be running from the Disruptor. Wouldn't be surprised if he continues to blink here. Yeah, there he goes. At the same time, this uh, Warp Prism looks like he may want to drop the third. Yeah, but it's empty, so it has no Disruptors in it. As uh, another stim to readjust his army movement. Yep, here's the drop coming in. And TY's army is all the way out on the map. It's right in the middle of the map. He's trying to fight against these disruptors. But four adepts can easily split up and get a lot of damage done here. Yeah, so we see here the turret's actually doing some damage to the warp prism, but the adepts do get dropped. Adepts here at the third base as well from TY. And another warp him as well. Yeah, not much back here right now. This uh, These two adepts are going to warp oh, in. Oh, oh, move oh, command into oh. there. You don't want to be doing that. Disruptors do get the purification overs off. And there's actually the YouTube every day. Oh, he picks up! Ooh. But he sniped, he sniped yeah. the Disruptor. Kills the Disruptor oh. just in time. Oh, man. If that shot went off and he didn't pick up, that would have been huge. That would be massive for Deal. Yeah. At the same time, the Saras has been shut down. And uh, once again, I mean, Deer's kind of stuck on Disruptor Stalker. This is what always happens. It's very hard to transition out of this. 
you know, beginning begin to get that core of immortals or try to go into storm from here. It's all very expensive. Yeah, and once the Terran does get the third and fourth bases up and has that near max army, you can easily take the fights, uh, get the advantage with the concave, and its disruptors aren't as useful as they are in the early game. Disruptors are good for zoning the turn. I at least push them back and you know, force some stims, but generally the turn gets enough of a surround and a, and a split that they can eventually uh, engage here. Uh, got a warp of Adepts here. Warp Prism will be flying to do some harassment, but TY isn't aware of this. The use of observer is actually really nice to place there at the bottom of the map. It's going to completely sniff out this uh, drop. And the Blink Stalkers will be blinking in and taking out these medivacs. Yeah, he's focusing some Ooh. down. Here comes the... Okay, I need the Widow Mine. Yeah, this is what uh, Disruptors are very good for, getting the Widow Mines. And here we go, drop at the same time, but TY has aggression onto this third base. He could actually just stim in there and get that Nexus, and that's exactly what he's going to do. Yeah, that being said, though, TY lost a lot of SCVs, but he's got in to this Nexus. That's huge for TY. But these Adepts actually not doing too much after those SCVs were killed at the main base. He's not moving them to the expansion. Yeah, just 11 kills here, and uh, looks like they will eventually shade, but the production, you know, is there. He is going to eventually be able to clean up two Adepts, but he lost his entire third base for a very long time. That being said, TY hasn't even thought of taking uh, fourth base, rather, uh, just yet. <laughs> these uh, these brown units are just stuck there. Wow. Uh, it's quite unfortunate for TY, and huh. look at that. Uh, 24 workers, soon to be 25, I assume. No, definitely wrong. Okay, there we go. 25 workers have been killed for TY, but uh, the army counts are very close as well. This, this one adept still hasn't died. 15 kills, 16 kills, 17. And you mentioned how when you go disruptors, you get stuck on disruptor tech. We see here Deer has only just started plus two. He only just got his twilight counter. Plus two is finished. And you get delayed so far behind when you go for the disruptor tech. Your upgrade, uh, they lack. And if the Terran is uh, privy enough, they will get ahead on the uh, upgrades and they will demolish your army with the superior upgrades. But yeah. we see here just plus two just finishing here for TY. Yeah, so it looks like TY hasn't he's really committed well. enough. It yeah. looks like he's, well, he does have two engineering bays, but he only went for the attack, which is kind of strange. Does decide to forego the armor for now. Well, I, I suppose against disruptors, everything's going to blow up anyway. Well, I did mention that TY still hasn't taken gas in the main base. And I think the reason why he hasn't got the upgrades is because he's just struggling for gas right now. And it's just those little things that could cost you a game. And I mean, everybody remembers Game 7 of the GSL Finals, but here we go. The oh. shots come out. There are the splits. Looks like he gets the some, but look at surround. The, the surround. It's so huge. And now the Disruptors are on cooldown. But what are they going to do? More shots coming out here. He splits against it, moves back. There are a lot more Protoss units, though, joining the fight. Yeah, these Widermoans want to get into the action as well. Let's see how much damage they can do as they shoot. The Disruptors are on cooldown. They're just floating around the map. And I think oh, T.Y. Man. He focuses this. them all down, and it's only playing Stalkers yeah. now. And that, that battle is really close, but unfortunately for Dia, didn't get those disrupt shots. And Dia has to run with his tail behind his legs. Has to go back to his mothership core, cry to his mommy, see what damage he can do here. Disruptors coming out, will be able to snipe all the Widow Mines for now, but he's only got one. Yeah. That's have been warped in, but T.Y.'s picking away at this army. Yeah, T.Y. Just trying to pick off as many units as he can uh, without taking damage of his own. But once again, like I just got to keep going back to the lack of gas at the main base. Uh, they could do so much, so much more for Ty here. But actually, he's just gonna uh, lift off that command center. So he's like, I don't like that yeah, gas anyway. He's like, uh, I'll abandon it. It's okay. Uh, looks like here we might see another. No, okay, just posturing back and forth here. Deer, he seems like he's thinking about engaging, but uh, very strong bio force at this point. He's been denied from taking a fourth base from a very long time. He can't exactly float his nexus over, of course. So it looks like he has cleared out that fourth base location, but TY did spot that. Yeah, and he looks like he's going to loop a bit of his army around to try and snipe that third base again. Using, okay, so basically the role of these disruptors now are to just snipe those Widow Mines because those Widow Mines just hurt if you don't take care of them. But here comes a loop around here from TY. He's distracting this main army and Deer may notice something's wrong. This is not a very big Protoss or Terran army. Here we go, the big stim in. He has seen it. 
trying to snipe that Nexus, and oh, oh, the Stalkers are being blocked by the Pylons, and this is going to go down easily. Yeah, that's a real unfortunate here, especially considering the fact that Deer has pretty much not his mind out both his base, but it looks like Deer's trying to push through. Deer's being split apart. He, he tries to split his army against the two parts of the Terran army. Oh, 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 not paying attention there. Yeah, not paying attention. This is a, another very big Protoss army trying to push across the map at the same time. Oh, another huge hit on the Disruptors as well. And actually, the SFAs are coming out here. Splits there very nicely done. It looks like Deer's actually on the run as his Disruptors are on cooldown, trying to delay as much as possible. Does join up, and the Disruptor shot. Oh, it looks nice like he pick picks up, up as well. Oh, that is so huge. And now he's just got it too much. Disruptor's all on cooldown, and that should be it. T.Y., it looks like he has secured this game. Yeah, I mean, that was some sick control here from T.Y. GG. There you go. T.Y. gets the second win of the night here for KT, saying we are the better team, and we want to get that second place. Yeah. I mean, as you said before, Disruptor Stalker is a very strong composition in the earlier mid game, but it doesn't it restricts your options coming into the late game. And Deer was for such a long time was stuck on three bases. He wasn't even able to secure a fourth at all with the, how the map works. TY doing a very good job denying the fourth bases and Stats is shaking his head, he's like, man, Terran is so OP. He like yeah. doesn't even care about TY. He's like, man, that's not fair. Yeah, and uh, we saw how good TY's multitasking was with all those drops and the multi-pronged attacks around the map. Yeah, it really was. I mean, he, he definitely outplayed Deer there. He split against the Disruptors. He handled the harass, not perfectly, but, and you know, there was there were some mistakes, as you were saying, he didn't take the gas. Maybe that was, you know, on purpose. He's like, no, I don't need this gas. I, I want to go just straight up Marine Marauder. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know. But uh, he, he essentially was okay, and really what won them that game was, as you were saying, the, the multitasking, getting behind, he sniped the third base like two times. Yeah. Yeah, that was a really fun game to uh, cast. My, my throat's actually getting quite coarse right now. It's, been, <laughs> it's actually been a very long day today. It's only, it's 9.15, so... Oh. Yeah, T.Y., he, gets a, he, he is even feeling the hurt. Yeah, he's feeling, feeling the, the heat. There. But uh, our next game will be Bravo against Leonok. Samsung need to win the next two games to force it to an ace match. And uh, I believe we will be going to a three minute break. Yeah, gonna be a three minute break, guys. So stay tuned. We'll get to that Bravo versus Leonok in just a bit. <laughs> 